you know, we're, we're always looking for players that we think we can bring in uh, and hopefully polish up what might still be a gem of a player if, you know, if there are some that we see here that, that we like. But I think in, in non-league football, they can still make a very good living. Um, but a lot of clubs haven't got the money that, that a lot of other clubs have. So they'll look to these sort of uh, these sort of occasions to try and see if they can pick up a few young players that they know might go into their team and, and, and develop uh, develop better, develop better as players, develop better as people, but also help that club to, to go on to produce the sort of results that they're hoping to get and become successful in years to come. The quality of the, the goals that were scored were, were excellent and uh, you know it's a credit to the players that they've gone out there and you know it's a big night for them. And it, I'm sure they're, they're very, very nervous, but there was some uh, particularly composed finishes in that game, definitely. Well, obviously the young lad from, from Barnsley, uh, with the two goals that he scored, will have, will have taken the eye in the first half. But uh, it's, you know, it can't be easy for them with, with just having you know, the best part of 50 minutes to try and show what they can do to a lot of the scouts that have turned up. But um, I think one or two will have done themselves a favour in that game. One or two might know one or two of the other players. They may have played against each other during the season if they're from the, the same area of the country. Um, but just turning up and having to sort of be put together and play together as a team, it's never very easy. They all want to impress. They all want to show uh, all the scouts that are here what they can do. Um, because at the end of the day, they all want to have to make a living in football, you know, whether it's in the professional game, whether it's at non-league level. You know, some may have to drop down to non-league level to to try and find that you know their own level for a couple of years while they're still developing. A lot of these players will you know won't have fully developed yet, um, and you know unfortunately in football, in professional football, uh, there is quite a need for for players to be ready almost at 18, 19 now to go into to, to first teams, particularly at the lower league level. Um, so, so a lot of these players won't have really. Um, Mature, they won't have really developed yet as players. There's still one or two years yet for them to come through, and if it takes going down into the, to the non-league to do it, then I think that's what they'll have to do. It will need a period of adjustment. You know, they're they're having to step into the real world now of football, where you know it's not 18s, you know, under 18s against under 18s. You're playing men of different ages, from 18 probably up into their 30s. Um, so it, it it is a a tough transition at times for some of them. Some of them will adapt to it a lot easier. Some of them will, will find it a little bit harder, but it's the ones who stick at it will probably make it. It can be very difficult for them because they'll, they'll be thinking they should still be playing in a professional club if they end up going to a non-league club. But then it becomes their mindset, then it becomes how badly they want to become footballers uh, in how they approach trying to get back into professional football.